Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orford, certified by the American Meteorological Society. All right, uh, on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon, uh, a couple of things I want to uh, mention. First of all, is what a great time I had at Mr. Mooney's class uh, this afternoon out there at uh, Honey Creek Middle School. And uh, it was very nice. Uh, I want to thank Pam for filling in for me yesterday. If I feel a little, sound a little scratchy, that's the reason. Of course, I've always been sickly. And uh, at any rate, we have no rain showing up on the uh, Storm Team Fury triple scan. And current temperatures, you know, not bad, really. Uh, Terre Haute has 67, Paris 68, Robinson 69, and Linton 65. So temperatures pretty nice, but it's dry, so very dry. 23% relative humidity right now, uh, not only in Terre Haute, but also in Paris. Mattoon has 26% relative humidity, and the wind is uh, just about, oh, five miles per hour, five miles per hour, maybe 10 over here in Mattoon, and Indianapolis has a wind speed of 15. Oh, I want to also say happy birthday to Sherry Shepard. I don't usually do birthdays, but um, Mrs. Markle told me that, in her opinion, it's lucky that Sherry made it this far. So we want to say happy birthday to uh, Sherry. Now, there are some clouds out here to the uh, west, or to the east, I should say, but completely clear for us here. And that's, this is the high pressure I've been telling you about. High pressure tends to press down on the atmosphere, and as it does, uh, it causes the, it really inhibits the development of clouds or anything. And we've got a front that's going to be going through. We'll start to get a southerly breeze ahead of that, so that means we'll have a little spike in temperatures, but this front that goes through will be a dry front. That means that about all it's going to do is uh, change the uh, direction of the wind, and then high pressure settles in again for the remainder of the week. So we've got a little frontal passage, and then after that, it looks like all we're going to get is uh, just some more sunny and pleasant weather. I mean, we're not complaining, but uh, could use a little bit of rain. So a low tonight of 38 degrees. It'll be mostly clear, and I can't rule out the idea of patchy frost in some of the outlying and low-lying places. And then for tomorrow, high of 75, a little bit warmer. And uh, then tomorrow night, 48, not as chilly tomorrow night. So tonight we'll be into the 30s, overnight tomorrow night uh, into about uh, 48 degrees or so. So here we have uh, a look at the extended forecast. The uh, only frost that I think we may have is tonight. And then the rest of the week we warm up a little bit. And uh, right through the holiday, you know, it's Columbus Day on Monday. And uh, it'll be about 78 degrees. So that's the way things seem to be shaping up.